Good evening, everybody. It is 8.43 here in Florida, and peace and blessings and love to everybody. Okay, you guys, first of all, I am tired, uh, so please just bear with me. And if you hear a bunch of noises in the background, it's probably my husband working or my animals. <laughs> but I'm going to try and um, share this dream. Uh, it's epic, y'all. Don't go anywhere. This was given, I believe, with all my heart from the Holy Spirit to our sister Lori Barastoni. You just cannot make this stuff up, okay? So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to read out the dream. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a dream interpretation, okay? So here we go. Okay, this says... I had a dream I was at work on the ventilator unit. My patient's trachea kept slipping out and he had a white towel behind his head. Now this patient she has, his name is Jose and uh, we will get into the meaning of his name a bit later, okay? This also says, I got his trach secure and went for supplies. When I came back, his bed was moved across the room. I went to him and he was gone. Now she also told me on the phone y'all that um, after it had moved across the room it was behind a curtain and uh, we'll get into that also a little bit later. It says here on the nursing home part I walked by and saw my grandmother who I call mama. She was in a wheelchair. I, I was happy to see her. I then saw my grandfather, who I call Poppy. He was sleeping. I was saying, Poppy, wake up. And he woke up. He gave me a one-armed hug and kept telling me he loved me, and I kept telling him I loved him. He asked me what the date was. I said, 2021. I turned my back, and he was gone. And also, my mama. I was running through the home, inside and out, yelling, Poppy! and asking people if they had seen them. I then saw a door opened, and I was mad thinking someone left it open and Mama and Poppy got lost. I went to the door, there was a wind, I saw what looked like a tornado, it was dark outside. I saw people outside, I saw what looked like fireworks, but they put up from the ground up. I went back inside, I saw dirt flying. I saw my cat and I grabbed him. My parents were there. And I was still carrying on about my missing grandparents. They said they would be okay like nobody cares much. You could hear noises like pops or someone walking on the roof. It sounded like metal. I woke up. I prayed about it. I then saw a YouTube video by Bette Miller, The Rose. Mama loved that song. I felt there was meaning to this dream. Any thoughts? Okay, you guys. Yes, I have a lot of thoughts about this dream. So we're going to go over and I'm going to give you a dream interpretation. Here we go. Okay. This dream was from the Lord using Lori's name and names. It is also concerning a patient she has now and also her grandparents that have been deceased for 10 to 13 years now. She is being shown what I believe is a timeline and events in the year 2021. Lori was at work on the ventilator unit in this dream. Lori's name in this dream has a double meaning. One, it refers to herself and the events of her life. And two, her name means laurel reef or crown which is in reference to the Greek Olympic races, which Paul spoke of in reference to the endurance of finishing the race. The contenders in Rome would receive a laurel wreath, also known as a crown, upon finishing the race. A ventilator helps you breathe. Her patient's trachea kept slipping in and out. A trachea is your windpipe one part of your airway system. Now, before I go into the rest of the interpretation, 
Everyone needs to know that Lori was having this dream the same day, right around the same time that they were having trouble with his secretions that turned brown. They did an x-ray. The trach was showing it was moved. Coincidence? I think not. Okay, let's get back to the interpretation. Lori, which represents a crown of life, a crown of righteousness, and an incorruptible crown, got Jose's trachea secure, meaning he, believing in Jesus, receives a crown of eternal life. That is why Jose had a white how white towel behind his head because he is resting in the finished work of Jesus and his sins are as white as snow. Lori went back to his room after going for supplies. His bed had moved from one end of the room to another. It was behind a curtain and he was gone. I believe this is in reference to going from one realm to another. I believe he was either in heaven and or raptured. We would talk about the curtain at the end of this. Just remember, he was gone. Then Lori went to the nursing home part. She walked by and saw her grandmother, whom she calls Mama. The name Mama means Saturday born. She was in a wheelchair. Lori was happy to see her. Lori then sees her grandfather, whom she calls Poppy. His name means red flower. He was sleeping as he was sleeping. She was saying, Poppy, wake up. Poppy, wake up. He did. I think this may be in reference to the dead in Christ waking up because both of her grandparents are deceased. He gave her a one-arm hug. He kept saying over and over again that he loves, he loves her, and she was saying it back to him. And then he said that it broke his heart to see you lying across two chairs while your grandma was near passing. Now, this was something she told me on the phone, y'all. Okay. Lori told me in the comment section and on the phone that that seemed strange to her, that he said that about her lying across those two chairs with her mama, because no one ever knew about that except a friend named Chris that came and picked her up so she could quickly grab a bite to eat during the situation. She didn't understand why that part was in the dream. I told her that because poppy means red flower, and Chris means Christ, the Anointed One. I believe the Lord, Poppy, the Red Rose of Sharon, Jesus, was letting her know in that scene that this dream was strictly from him and that it truly broke his heart having to see her go through that because no one else ever knew it. Nobody else ever knew that, you guys. That was proof that this was a dream straight from the Holy Spirit, from God. So after he said all of that to her, he asked, What was the date? Lori said 2021. Then she turned, she turned her back, and he was gone. And so was her mama. So, for the pure fact that after you told him 2021, he and Mama then suddenly was gone. I believe the Lord was asking you that to show you the year of the rapture. Then you were running in and out, yelling Poppy and asking people if they had seen them. She then saw a door open and she was mad thinking someone left it open. And she thought Mama and Poppy got lost. She then went to the door. There was a wind, and I believe that's in reference to the Holy Spirit, you guys. When he goes, we're going with him. She saw what looked like a tornado. 
which means judgment or destruction, something bad coming. She then said it was, it was dark outside, and that is in reference to spiritual darkness, because when the Holy Spirit leaves, it's going to get real dark around here in this world. She saw people outside, then she saw like firecrackers. They were coming up from the ground. Her and I talked about it, and she said it was like lights coming up from the ground. I believe this is in reference to the dead in Christ rising. She went back inside. She saw dirt flying. And I asked her about an earthquake because we know that when our Lord Jesus was crucified and was risen from the dead, um, there was a, a, a part, a time where there was an earthquake, okay? Um, and she said she didn't really see that, but she saw dirt flying. So that could be in reference and also the lights coming up from the ground. She saw her cat and grabbed him. And I think that's in reference to, well, our, our animals are going to go with us, y'all. And I think the Lord was showing her that. And uh, I just want to make sure I tell you that just because she was not raptured in this, does not mean she was not raptured. She's being shown this, okay? And uh, it is to show us and to tell us uh, what is happening in the entire dream, okay? Then she says, my parents were there and I was still going on about my missing grandparents. Her parents, with, which are unbelievers, said they would be okay like nobody cares much. This was showing the unbelievers being left behind and showing the believers being raptured and that they would be awesome. Amen, you guys, amen. You could hear noises like pops or someone walking on the roof, sounded like metal. I woke up and I put, I believe that may be in reference to angels gathering everyone like, you know, walking on the roof and just gathering us all up. She then says, when she woke up, she prayed about it and then saw a video by Bette Midler, The Rose. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little teaching here and a little more information. So let's go there. So Lori had also told me about... Um, a nurse named April. So I'm going to read this part out. And this was also on the phone. Um, I put here, For the pure fact that a nurse named April and that Jose was behind a curtain, gone, this equation may be in reference to something happening at Passover. I don't know. This Passover starts March 27th and goes to April 4th. I know that the veil was torn on the Day of Atonement where Jesus is concerned. The veil separated man from God and heaven from earth. Lori also told me that when I came to work that day, I found out he was sick. This was after the dream. April said she was trying to take care of my friend. I said, which friend? She said, Jose. I said, what happened to him? She said he was loaded with secretions and they were brown and they didn't smell good, you guys. She couldn't take it and she ran and told my boss, Terry. Now, the name Terry or Teresa means harvester. This week we wait for the doctor to say get an x-ray and he will decide if Jose needs a bronchoscopy, I think is how you say it. Um, but uh, I'll let you know what's going on there y'all. Um, but anyways, let's go on. So I now want to address the curtain that Jose's bed was behind. Again, this could be in reference to Passover. Let's take a look of why this could be. The removal of the sin. 
Nowhere do we see a more graphic picture of God's forgiveness, except for our Lord Jesus, than on Israel's Day of Atonement, the day God dealt with the nation's sins for another year. Now let's look at the veil that is also known as a curtain. Generally, this veil served to separate the holy place from the holy of holies, and that's in Exodus twenty-six thirty-three, and shielded the atonement slate one of the ark, Exodus twenty-six thirty-four. The veil was also used to cover the ark of the testimony while in transport, and that's in Numbers four five. Sin offerings were made against the veil. Leviticus 4, 6, and 17, and entry behind it was permit, permitted only for a ritually pure priest, Aaron, or a descendant, who would enter behind the curtain on the Day of Atonement. Some rabbis, writing long after the temple was destroyed by Rome in AD 70, depict the veil as symbolic of the heavenly firmaments, Genesis 1, 6. In this way, the veil was a barrier between heaven and earth, behind which divine secrets were kept, known only to God. So, Jose's name means raised, who pardons. So again, we have a double meaning here, you guys. We have a patient, we have a timeline, and we also have, um, well, our Lord Jesus, okay? First John 2, 2, and he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. He is our sin payment, pardon, for all who would believe upon him. What does pardon mean? The word translated pardon is from a Hebrew word, selicha, which means a passing over forgiveness. Job asked, And why dost thou not pardon my transgression and take away mine iniquity? Now, we're going to talk about the atonement of Christ. The atonement of Christ is the sacrificial work of Jesus for sinners. In his death on the cross, Christ atoned for the sins of humanity such that God is satisfied and, rec and reconciliation is accomplished for all who will be redeemed by believing upon the Lord Jesus. The obedience and death of Christ on behalf of sinners is the ground of redemption. Thus, Good Friday, the day Jesus Christ suffered and died on the cross of Calvary, is the fulfillment of the Day of Atonement. So when is Passover for Americans in 2021? It starts Saturday, March 27th, and it ends Sunday, April 4th. Will something significant happen during this time or soon after to bring in the rapture of the church? Well, I don't know, you guys. All I know is what the body is being shown, and a whole lot has been being shown here lately. Okay, I just want to share a scripture with everyone. Most ministers and pastors... Uh, think that this particular scripture is in reference to the rapture. This is Revelation 4 1, and also I believe this is the open door in Lori's dream. So here we go. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And I want to do one more thing, you guys. I want to play the song, The Rose, for our sister Lori. Because her mama loved it so much. And in this dream, 
the red flower poppy, I believe, was a symbol, was in reference of our Lord Jesus, the Rose of Sharon. So here we go. Love you, Laura. Lori, here we go, honey. Okay, that is a beautiful song, and I just want to say, everybody, I'm not setting dates. I'm just saying that I believe these are timelines, and I do believe that the rapture will be this year sometime. Thank you so much, Lori. And I'm sorry I called you Laura, honey. That's my sister's name, Laura. Um, and I love you so very much. You've been such a blessing to me. And, um, well, God bless the body of our Lord Jesus Christ. Look up, saints, for our redemption is oh so near. Amen and amen.